let me give you a summary okay let's summarize this the summary okay and you can just do these questions this summary you can read yourself this summary you can read and this question you can solve this question you can solve okay answer is already provided so i have already provided the answer this you can solve now let me just give you a summary of all these things so let's let's summarize them let's summarize a summary of distribution summary of distributions okay so this is the summary the first thing we have seen is dodb this first thing we have seen dodb so for this dodb which approach you will apply which approach you will apply for dodb for this you will apply simple product rule with remember this approach you should apply this approach you should apply product rule with simple combination means combination and product rule these two things you apply very simple okay this is what you need to do this is what you need to do okay so product rule with combination very simple so you don't have to do anything no formula you don't have to apply any formula but if you want you have a formula like this this type of formula you have n1 factorial n2 factorial n k factorial but there is a condition what is the condition the condition is this so take care about this condition this condition you should take care okay this condition is there so this type of formula you have for dodb but you can do just just apply the product rule with combination very simple this is your dodb variations we have done the next is iodb the next is iodb and this iodb template this iodb template is like this for any problem whatever problem you have if you can do it like this any problem if you can put like this any problem if you can put like this that this total okay like i can say if any problem you can put like this b1 plus b2 plus bn this total is equal to r okay so if you can put like this any problem if you can put like this where where only number matters where only number matters content does not matter where only number matters content does not matter content not content does not matter only the number matters because all the objects are identical so you have identical objects the chocolates are identical so the scenario you know the scenario the scenario is santa with the chocolates this is the scenario santa with the chocolates to children okay you are giving chocolates to children so for any child this is a child so i can say this is a child and these are your chocolates these are your chocolates or i can say these will become your stars okay and how many bars you need so total you need because total n you have so there will be n minus 1 bars will be there so there will be total n minus 1 boundaries you need and these are the children so for every children only the number matters how many chocolate this children is getting this child is getting only this will matter nothing else so these are your chocolates this chocolate you are distributing this is your iodb template whenever you see iodb template you can apply star bar so for this iodb template whenever you see this iodb template immediately immediately apply star bar immediately apply star bar similarly whenever you see this multi set whenever you see this multi set immediately apply star bar similarly whenever you see this uh, combination with repetition whenever you see combination with repetition uh, with repetition then what you will do just apply star bar just apply star bar and similarly what is another combination with repetition iodb multi set and uh, this integer non this integer equation okay this uh, integer solution of equation integer solution of equation integer solution of equation whenever you see this apply star bar and also this non decreasing non increasing sequence non decreasing sequence integer sequence non decreasing integer sequence whenever you see this apply star bar and the final thing what is the last what is the last thing that is integer composition that is integer composition that is your integer composition whenever you see integer composition apply star bar so this is the complete star bar no okay this is your complete star bar 
in all these you can apply the star bar integer composition non non decreasing non increasing integer sequence integer solution of equation okay combination with repetition multi set iodb all these things are basically your star bar okay very simple now the next template what was the next template the third template that is your doib for this doib there is no formula for this doib we do not have any formula so go systematic always go systematic always you do systematic very simple now for this doib which which problems have this template doib which problems have this template so this doib template is followed by this partition of a set problem partition of a set partition of a set okay this will this will follow the doib template also number of equivalence relation also number of equivalence relations how many number of equivalence relations on a set on a set so these two will follow doib template and then finally this is okay this is your doib template and then finally the fourth template that is your ioib template and in this template also there is no formula we do not have any formula there is no there is no formula for this let me tell you for this there is a formula do doib there is a formula in the market okay so many times you will see some students they will apply this formula so don't worry because that formula if any student is applying that formula it simply means that they do not really understand because okay they have just by hearted the formula and they are applying it because let me tell you the formula will take more time than this systematic procedure that formula we will study in the recurrence relation that formula is not important we will never apply that formula never 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 okay because that formula cannot handle variations the reason we will never apply that formula is that formula can never handle variations if anyone give you some variation that formula cannot handle also if there is no variation a straight forward question is there okay if there is a straight forward question then also that formula will take more time okay that formula will take more time than this systematic procedure so for this always apply this systematic procedure and for this there is no formula at all there is no formula at all there is really no formula at all okay so finally this ioib always go systematic way which problem will follow ioib template which standard problem will follow ioib template that is your integer partition problem that is your integer partition problem that is your integer partition problem or i can say this is your partition number this is your partition number this this thing is basically your partition number of n this is also called partition number of n okay so very simple so this ioib this is followed by integer partition problem in the integer partition uh, integer partition number of n that is your p of n okay partition of a set let's see this if you have a set let me give you a set for example a comma b comma c then what are the partitions now let's write the partitions like partition 5 1 i can write the partition 5 1 i can write like this a b c together okay this partition i can write another partition that i can write is like this a in separate and b comma c is separate another partition i can write is like this a comma b separate and c separate another partition i can write like this a comma c separate and b separate okay like this i can write the partitions and there is one more partition so total five partitions are possible yes or no yes or no for this total for this set total five partitions are possible agree this we have already seen partition of a set in the set theory we have seen in the set theory we have seen this partition of a set so there will be five partitions will be possible now see what is partition of what is partition of 3 because you have three elements here so for this set the number of partitions will be five but now let's see what is p3 p3 means p3 means partition number of 3 p3 means partition number of 3 partition number of 3 and what is that that is basically unordered summation of 
partition number of three, that means unordered summation of three. Three can be written as three, three can be written as two plus one, three can be written as one plus one plus one. So what is P3? So what is P3? P3 is equal to three. So you can notice for this three, the partition number will be three, but for this set of three elements, for this set of three elements, there will be five partitions. So these two are different. These two are different. Is this clear? Is this clear to everyone? So partition of a set, partition of a set, this actually follows DOIB template, DOIB template and partition of a number, partition of a natural number, natural number that will follow IOIB template. Now, is it clear to everyone? Like if I give you, for example, if I ask you what is P4, P4 means partition number of four. That is your partition number of four. So what that will be, that is like this. You can write like this. You can write like this. You can write like this. Okay. You can write like this and you can write like this. So the answer P4 will be what? So these are your, so P4 will be, so I can say P4 will be one, two, three, four, five. So P4 will be five. Okay. P4 will be five. Partition number of four, that will be five. Because partition number, you are doing the partition. So this is unordered summation. This is unordered summation. Three plus one, two plus one, two, uh, sorry. Okay. So this is unordered summation. This is same as one plus three. These two things are same. So order does not matter. Okay.